What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna to try to get both of these golf carts tore down as best as we can and maybe try to start swapping some parts over. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so we got the golf cart torn all the way apart. There's a scrap pile there. Uh, next thing we need to do is to strip the uh, a two seater or four seater golf cart, whichever you prefer to call it. I like to call them single cabs and crew cabs. However, on this single cab golf cart here, I'm not gonna bore y'all with another shot of it. So this right here is what the golf cart now looks like. I went ahead and removed as much as I could last night. It just got really late, so I decided to go ahead and stop and uh, try again today. So today what we have left to tear apart on this golf cart here would just be the rear end and we're going to go ahead and put that on the other golf cart. That'll work. So got the mount off, it takes three 10 millimeter sockets in case you have to take yours off. And it's got like these two uh, locators here that fit inside of this cross member.
So I'm not gonna be using this main switch panel here. Probably gonna do a dash on this right here with a couple of speakers in it. With that being said, I'm not gonna use this gauge. I'm not gonna use this input terminal. None of that's gonna be used. Only two things I need to use are these two wires here. So I went ahead and connected them to the harness. I went ahead and cut them. I'm just gonna extend those two wires for the switch itself. So while the uh, Navitas is downloading the firmware for the plum quick motor, a few things we need to do, we need to address. Uh, number one, this right here cover. The covers, all the electronics, controller, solenoid, everything in there. The tabs on the other side are broke, so it's not really gonna stay in place. Plug in the use zip ties there. I know we need new shocks. Uh, the lift kit, once we do the lift kit, We'll replace the springs, we'll replace the shocks and the brakes then. Um, the batteries will get replaced here in the next couple of weeks as time progresses and as we get closer towards the end of the build. I need to uh, run and extend these three wires for the FNR switch. I'm gonna get a new FNR switch. I have extended the wires for the uh, pedal assembly and I've extended the wires uh, for the key switch. So we just need to run those. Uh, but we are getting closer to being done with this project. One week now guys, one week. We've converted everything from gas to electric. Oh, one more thing too, is on these batteries here, the battery hold down spot Underneath the golf cart in the frame, the rod does not go through there. I guess since this was a gas powered cart, they didn't have the rod or either they didn't move the rod with it. So we're gonna need to mount some uh, battery hold downs. And we'll do that later on in the build. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I think I got something planned out for it as well. It's in the turbo, I'm gonna put it to run. I'm gonna turn the switch on and get the FNR switch hooked up. Uh, nice. We see it runs though. If you guys need to hook up this, it's uh OTF. I'm not gonna install anything yet. I'm just gonna hook it up so I can test out the controller here. There it is. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna put it at just yet. So we have it installed and I'm just going to uh, leave it like this right here for a second. All right, we're gonna test out the rear wheels here. Speed is gonna be uh, low, region's gonna be off, acceleration's gonna be medium up. Forward. Okay, we're gonna put speed uh, recommended setting. Speed wide open. Acceleration wide open. Something ain't working. I'll spell it for you. D U M M Y period. <laughs> Dummy. 
So there it is guys, the golf cart is running one week update. We got it running from gas to electric conversion. Next week we're gonna start working on the lift kit, the steering, and some other parts that we need to get this thing going. Appreciate you watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, bell notification, all that. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Bye.